Hi everybody and welcome to my attempt at this week's BBO Weekly Free Instant Tournament. This is my instant tournaments, weekly free. As I say each week, it's eight boards, match points. Nobody has more high card points than you. They can have the same number and better distribution, but nobody can have more points than you, which is what's meant by a best hands tournament. Um, and as I always say at the end, but I'll say at the beginning this week, please, um, if you did like this video, do like it, do subscribe to the channel um, and share it with other people. That will get um, YouTube to put it in front of more bridge players. Um, we've got a horribly flat hand here, 15 points, aces and kings, but some nice tens, eights and sevens. So this is definitely a one no trump, strong no trump opening in the robot system. Um, despite it being 4 3 3 3, I might not even downgrade this if I were playing Akon um, to a weak no trump. So we'll open one no trump, three no trump. So partners are past hand, so they got 10 or 11 points and a flat hand. So this is going to be quite tight. So in the pass, partner can't have a lot of distribution. Otherwise, they'd have opened the bidding. So, yeah, we found a spade lead rather than a heart lead. Thank goodness. So we've got two spades and a heart is three. The two diamonds make five. If we can come to four club tricks, that will make nine. Um, if they started with a heart, we'd have been in a lot of trouble. Um, as it is, we're planning to win this trick and play on clubs. And... I'll probably play the ace of clubs, and if nothing surprising happens, leave the ten of clubs, and if it's not covered, run it. Um, so um, we might have played seven of spades. Yeah. Okay, do we want to encourage more spade plays, discourage them? We don't want them to switch into hearts. So I'll play the ace, so they may not know about the king. I probably do. Um, there's no reason to delay anything, nothing to be gained by procrastination. Well that uh, see if the clubs are coming in. So the queen's there. So I'm going to cover that one because we don't have entry problems. We've always got face king of diamonds to get to dummy. So clubs are three, two. Remember, there were five in dummy, three in our hands, so that was eight. So they had five. Um They've still got the jack to make, so we'll give them the jack now. There we go. And uh, we'll see what they play. And they play hearts. Now, I'm just... We've got nine tricks now. We've got three so far. <clears throat> a spade is four. A heart is five. Two diamonds are six and seven. And those two clubs are eight and nine. So we're only looking for a tenth trick. So the best chance of getting a 10th trick is going to be to lose three tricks. So I'm going to duck this heart. I'm going to duck the next heart as well. I hope they carry on with hearts. If they don't, right. So I can win that heart. I'm going to throw away a diamond from dummy because a spade is an entry to this king of spades and the clubs are winners. But the diamond's the only card I can spare. Um, I haven't got any more hearts. What I'm hoping, heart, is that the hand that has the ace of spades, um, ha that has the long spades, has the long diamonds as well, and that they may be squeezed. It probably won't happen, but this is just a Long shot. So we'll win the ace of diamonds. We'll cash these clubs. We'll throw one spade. And we'll throw one diamond. It's a diamond that gone from there and a spade from there. We're going to play the king of diamonds. Um, unless all the big diamonds appear, which they can't. Um, we're now just going to play a spade to the king and see if, if anything strange has happened and nothing has. 
So this hand was able to keep the Queen of Diamonds. This hand was able to keep the Queen of Spades. But if they'd both been in the same hand, they might have to throw one of them away. So 60.7% for three now trumps. So everybody is doing the same. You people just went down, but everybody did bid three no trumps. Everybody opened the hand, one no trump, got raised to three. Three people went down. Um, perhaps they didn't follow the normal sequence. No, they did. You thought they'd all have got the same lead of a spade. Um, they did, and you just have to play on clubs. If that happens. Right. On to board two, and there's 15. We've got 18 points, five, three, three, two, no aces. Ugh. Would I like to treat this as a, one, a strong note, 17 points strong note, Trump? I probably would, really, but um, double to well, these weaknesses, you don't, you know, We'd like to open, playing five card majors, you always like to open one of a major. But if you're in the range for one no trump with five, three, three, two, you've got to open one no trump. Otherwise, you're stuck for a rebid. Um, as you can gather by my indecision, um, um, so which one to go with? Normally, aces and kings are good for uh, suit contracts and queens and jacks come into their own in no trump contracts you know, because you set up your long suits and your queens and jacks make whereas they tend to get trumped in suit contracts so this is really a no trumpy type and particularly as our spade suit is weak but what's our source of tricks in no trumps lots of king queens i think i'm going to open one spade bid this hand fairly conservatively two clubs by an opponent three clubs well um partner couldn't say two spades they probably don't have three spades if they'd had five points and three spades they'd probably have said two spades even the robot would do that um and they must be short reasonably short in clubs because these two seem to have quite a few clubs between them was that only eight, but we've got quite nice clubs. So partner really has very little. Um, we certainly don't want to be bidding spades again because we think partner's probably only got two or one or none. Um, and we don't want to double because partner will just bid diamonds. So we're going to have to pass here. All right, so the opponents are playing three clubs. Partner finds the spade lead. Um, we did good spades, didn't we? Yeah. So, well, partner's going to find out we don't have the ace or king. We can play the eight to encourage them. Though it's worth noting that there's probably five spades to our left. The ace of diamonds. Partner have two spades by the looks of it. Not in terms of hearts. Suggests they don't have a club higher than the nine. Five of diamonds is it's going to get roughed. It is. Only partner had led a trump. Our partner does have a higher trump than follow suit. So Here comes the diamonds, right? Um, what's going to happen here is this hand's going to rough and then lead their last spade for dummy to trump. And partner won't probably won't have a rough with the jack last time, they probably don't have a trump higher than the eight. So, we've got a couple of options. We could they might be the ace, I suppose. Um, what else have they turned up with? They did indeed have the two spades. They don't seem to have turned up with any other points. So they could just have the ace of clubs and we could rough with the queen. Um, 
and draw a thump. Or we could throw the Queen of Spades away, which would mean we'd have to trump next time. Either way, nothing looks great. Um, Queen of Clubs, if the player has the ace, they would over rough and play their spade to get that rough in and play another diamond to make their little low trump. There's not much chance of beating this unless partner does have the ace of clubs, which is very unlikely in the bidding. See, if I throw the queen of spades away, they'll rough low. They may play their spade, even though it's now a winner. Rough in dummy and I'll have to over rough and cash a heart. Um, that looks, throwing the spade away looks better than I'm still playing their spade, even though it's the partner's able to rough now. So we can throw up, we can throw a heart away. Partner's jack of diamonds. Well, he doesn't. Throw the king of hearts away, they get a rough low. Club the eight, we get over rough. We get three of clubs. Partner doesn't have the ace, so in fact, that gave us a trick away. We should have roughed and exited. So we've got a bad score here. No, 67.9%. I think I should have held it to three clubs. Um, Three clubs plus one. Let's just see if I, if I felt I got that wrong at the end. People who um, bid on to spades got doubled and went down. Let's just have a quick look and see if I should have done something different. Um, I just we have a look at this hand in a bit more detail. So I think that um, when we got to this stage here throwing the queen of spades was right they threw the ten of hearts away and I threw the hearts away partner led the jack of diamonds so if I now rough with the queen of clubs um, and this hand over roughs. So they now leave the six of hearts. There's the three. They can rough my kings here. And they can take a club finesse. They can lead towards the ten club. So it would have made no difference. No, it made no difference what I did. So that's why we got the same as everybody else. So we we got... These this words are looking very much like last week's, where lots of people got equal tops, um, and we just have to keep doing that, and gradually fewer and fewer people will be in the top position. Right, this is a trend where there could be a bigger variation. We got fourteen point six diamonds, four spades, so this is quite a powerful distribution. We're going to start with one diamond. Pass from partner, that's great. Two clubs from here. Um, so the question is, should I just bid diamonds again? No, I should make a takeout double. So this shows three plus hearts, three plus spades, two minus clubs, 16 to 22, but total points. Well, total points adds on points for the world. So I'm going to double. Two diamonds from there, which is a good raise in clubs. Um, 11 to 16 points, three plus clubs. But they didn't overcall over one diamond, so I think they're at the bottom end of that range. Three clubs from there, so they haven't got much more. They were balancing originally. We're not vulnerable. 
and I've got a nice diamond suit. I'm going to bid three diamonds here. I think that one. I, the robot thinks I've got lots, but partner's not going to do anything. They haven't got anything. They're going to pass, surely. And they're going to three spades, four, we've all got four clubs. We can pass now. Partner might bid four diamonds if they've got some diamonds, but we're not. But they've gone to five clubs and partner's doubled. Partner's got a few clubs. So we will pass and we'll see if we can get a good score out of this. We have to lead, so we're going to start with diamonds and see if one of these will stand up. Unlikely, since there are five in dummy, six in our hand. Partner had one or two, had two, so they're going to rough. I don't know where. Well, we're going to make a spade trick. Um, partner better make two club tricks then. That's all I can say. Um, we're going to lead a heart now, leading a diamond and getting it roughed. If we lead a low diamond, they can play a winner. And partner has still got to follow because we had six, Dunn had five, that's 11. So partner had two, was East and Trump. So we can't lead a diamond. We don't really want to lead a spade. We'd like to lead a Trump to stop them roughing spades, but we'd better just lead a heart. I don't think they're going to let it run. No, no. So that may have cost us a trick. Here comes the ten of spades and go low, they're going to rough. And hope partner's got enough clubs. That's um so the heart lead didn't turn out well, but Partner didn't need to rough the nine of diamonds. Maybe hopefully they've only got clubs left. They do. They're under roughing. Are they two really big enough? No. There we go. They're going to make five clubs doubled. Oh, partner had a heart and could have thrown it away, and we might have done seventeen point one percent. So they can make three no trumps, but perhaps we could have passed them out in three clubs. Would that have happened if we passed three? We hadn't bid three diamonds. Is that what happens? Perhaps they do bid on to three no trumps, but still that was, we're way down here. And five clubs doubled plus one if we, you know, Partner thought we had more points. Partner had lots of clubs. But uh, if I don't lead a heart, they can actually lead the jack 10 and take the finesse um, and have no heart losers. So, um, right, on to board four. One heart from east. We've got 14 points, five spades. Um, we just want to bid our five card major here. We don't want to double, we haven't got clubs, and we have got a good five card suit. So we'll be going spade. One no trump from partner. They should have a heart stop for this. They don't have spades. We're quite happy in no trumps. We've got the diamond suit to help them. Even the seven and eight of hearts may be good. But if they're at the top of the range, then we may find ourselves making nine tricks. But I don't want to invite because if they're bottom of the range, we may struggle to make seven. So I'll go to pass, um, and we might score plus 150. So now, just remember, this south hand is the dummy, which opponents can see, and the north hand is the declarer is hidden. So if we look at this, they're going to take some heart tricks. We've got two spades, two clubs, and three diamonds for one no trump, seven tricks. So unless they take seven heart tricks off the top, um, which is unlikely since there are four in declarer's hand and two in dummy. That's six. So they've only got seven between them. East could have seven hearts and going to take the first seven tricks. Other than that, we're always going to be making at least one no trump. And the queen of hearts, is that a singleton? But there's, notice the fact the king and queen have gone. So now there's only the ace and jack out and I've got the ten. So the ten could, of hearts could become a trick.
Yeah, so this hand had six hearts to the ace-jack, but I presume you're not going to play the jack because that would set up the ten. Six of spades, discard from there. They are playing the jack. Well, that's very nice of them. What are we going to throw away? Um, well, the fourth round of diamonds might well be a winner um, if the diamond split 3-3 three, three, or the jack comes down. So we don't want to throw a diamond away. The club is not a loser because the ace is in dummy and it gives us communication between the two hands. So we're not going to throw that away. So we're going to throw a spade away. And we're going to find that they've set up our ten of hearts. Right. The queen of clubs is played from there. So they probably have queen jack of clubs. But if we look at the auction, this hand opened one heart. So the, we had 14 points in our hand. Dummy's got 10. That's 24 points. So this hand's got most of the points. Really, this hand's and it can't have more than four. We've seen two of them in hearts. So they could have, and they don't have don't seem to have Queen Jack or Jack of Clubs, because we don't think the robot would have led Queen of Clubs if they didn't have the Jack. So they might have the Queen of Spades. Um they might have the Jack of Diamonds. Um got plenty of entries to both hands. I think I'm going to see if I can find out where the Queen of Spades is. Just to help me count the hands. So I'm going to let this one run to the dummy. That nine suggests that they might have the Jack. So I'm going to leave the Jack of Spades. And I think the robot, if they've got the Queen, will put the Queen of Spades on it, the East robot. They do, right. So East has so far turned up with Ace King Jack of Hearts, Queen Jack of Clubs, we think. That's 11 points. The Queen of Spades is 13 points. Um, so we now are trying to work out. And that's 30, so there's, and we know this hand's turned up with the Queen of Hearts. So the, the only card we don't know about is the Jack of Diamonds, and that's a crucial card. But um, this hand turned up with five, six hearts. This hand turned up with one. And we think they've got two or three clubs as well. So this hand's likely to have the long diamonds. Um, can we do anything more to see if we can get a better count? Um, If we were to play the West Hand for the Jack of Diamonds, so if we were to play a diamond to the King, um, and the diamond back to the Ace, and then lead the Ten of Diamonds, um, no, we play the diamond back to the Ace, we're stuffed. So we need an entry back to our hand. So let's lead the Five of Diamonds, see if we get any clues about the diamonds. Eight. Um, there's a chance that the Ten of Spades could come down. If we lead the nine, and he puts on the ten, the eight and seven will be good. So this is all about the over tricks. Um, we know the Ten of Hearts is a winner, but if I cash the Ten of Hearts, I have to throw something away. I don't know what I want to throw away yet. I probably want to throw away the spade. But... There's the Ten, right? So that solves all our problems.
Um, we led the jack of spades. The queen went up. The ace went up. Nine, nine, ten. So the eight and seven are good. Um, the king of clubs is good. Ace of diamonds, queen of diamonds, and the ten of hearts. So we're going to make all the rest of the tricks. So by exploring the other suits before we played diamonds, we found that we don't actually need to. So you can need the eight of spades throwing a club away. You can need the seven of spades throwing another club away. Cash the king of clubs. Cash the ace of diamonds. You never know the jack might drop from that hand. You can lead the ten of diamonds. Diamonds were four diamonds to the jack in this hand and cash the ten of hearts. For 10 tricks. That's worth 75%. So some people probably bid the game. Three no trumps plus one. Yeah. But 180 did a lot better than some people. One person bid the game. So we did have quite a nice hand, but it turned out to be quite a nice. Um, it's pushy to bid the game at match points. So East opens a club. We've got 15 points. There's long running diamond suits, the king of clubs. Now I'm sure that robot system is to overcall one diamond here, but we've got, I, my view is that if you're in the range for one no trump, uh, and you've got a stop in their suit, which actually King X is, you should just bid one no trump here. We've got the diamonds may run for a lot, should run for a lot of tricks, we know. So we're going to bid one no trump here. Partner bids two hearts, which is the transfer to spades. They bid some more clubs. Do I want to complete the transfer by bidding three spades? No, I don't. Um, I'm just going to pass and see what partner says. Partner decides to bid three spades themselves, eight to nine total points, and says they got six spades. Well, we've got a lot of clubs. This hand doesn't have a lot of clubs. Three no prompts is probably not a good contract. Partner probably doesn't have solid spades. So I think we can just pass here. If partner really does have six. If partner only has five, we're in a lot of trouble. And they've gone to four clubs. Right. Right. Are we going to double them? I don't think so. We'll just pass and lead our king of diamonds and see what... Or should we lead our single to the spade? No, we, we ho we're hopeful that king of clubs is a trick anyway. So we're not leading our single to the spade at this point. We might lead it at the next point. The part, what partner really ought to... What a decent partner would do would be to signal whether they had an even or an odd number of diamonds. Two, three, four, five. So partners played the lowest diamond, which should, which ought to mean they've got three. Is there any advantage in us playing spades? Not really. We have a club trick anyway. I think we'll just continue with diamonds. Um, I'll, I'll play the ace of diamonds. Part If it gets roughed, partner will know that I've got the queen, whereas declarer won't know where the queen is. I thought it gets roughed. Six of spades, nine of spades. Are they going to take a finesse? Yeah. But they have the jack of spades. The partner's made the king. They switch to a heart. I'd like them to carry on with hearts. They get in. Here comes the jack of spades. Should I rough? I am going to rough. They might still take a finesse. Um, I'm going to see if I can set up the third round of hearts at this point. I'm going to drop my king of clubs and my partner's queen. Right. But, but there is the third round of hearts is good. 
Um, partner presumably doesn't have any more trumps. Could they have the jack of clubs? If they do, it's making anyway, so let's see. <laughs> Three of heart, the robot plays the three of hearts, which is a winner. All right. There we go. We're getting them up to four clubs, and getting them off was worth 89%. And you see that four diamonds uh, by us was off. The only way to do better was to get them to four hearts. But, uh, you know, so that's good. That's moved us up to second place in 62%. Um, right, on to board six. One club by our opponent. And we've got this nice balanced hand 16 points no club stop so this is just a double take out double partner does have a club stop though um and they have seven to ten high card points um they don't have a four card major because they would have bid that in preference to bidding one now trump now, Notice that below our Queen of Spades, our next highest card is a five. So we don't have any intermediates at all. So the spike, we might have 16 points opposite 10 points. Partner can have the intermediates. We do have a very good hat. Yeah. And so the question is, should we just pass one no trump? Do we have a we don't really have a source of tricks? Partner's got a club stop. They may have something in diamonds, but we're not we can't, there's no long heart, long suit to set up. So I'm inclined to pass at match points, not bother, not risk exploring the game. And there we go, partner has got two tricks in clubs. And that's it. Um, seven points of star 16. That's 23. This hand just opened the club and didn't do anything else. So they could well have 12 points and this hand have five for their 17. So what are we going to do? Four of clubs led if that's fourth highest. Four from 11 leaves seven. And we can only see five of them. So West's going to have cards higher than that. Um, the odds favour the east, the ace of spades being with east, and east may not have that long of clubs. They may they may well have five clubs since that they've led the fourth highest. So if we were to make two clubs, two diamonds is four, a heart is five, and two spades would be six. So if we lead spades twice from the dummy, and the ace of spades is with within is with the east, that gives us our seven tricks. So. We'll play the five of club because well, this is dummy. So this hand is the dummy. So they can see it. So the two will be fine. Um, I don't think there's a case for ducking here, really. Um, we're going to play spades and we have the ace, east has the ace. We don't really want them switching to hearts, setting up some heart tricks. So we'll win that one. Probably we should have won with the ace and lead the four of spades. And then if we try the king, Jack drops. If this hand had ace jack, they'd be playing, I'm sure they'd be playing the ace. So that's not there. Um or anything else like in of interest likely to happen. We're going to play spades again. The only entry to dummy is the ace of clubs. We will play that. Could we set up the fourth round of diamonds? Will we be we won't be setting up any enough losers to go down if we cash play three rounds of diamonds and let, we'll find out if they break really badly so 
the jacks appeared and we have the 10-9 and the ace king have gone so we'll that will set up a diamond winner in dummy if we do that yeah so now they are switching to hearts um We've got four tricks so far. Ace of clubs is five, diamond is six, and the ace of hearts is seven. So we're making seven tricks for sure, but we'd like to play another spade from dummy. So let's duck some hearts. And I switched to clubs, which is good. And made their heart trick. This hand's followed to a club, so they've got if they got two clubs, we had two, dummy had four. So that's eight. So this couldn't have had more than five. So we think it's five. So they could have three clubs left in their hand to cash with the ace of spades, which would give them six tricks. Um, but we're going up with the ace here. And we're going to try the ten of diamonds. And... We'll throw a heart away. Ah, and another club appears from here. So now this hand had three clubs. We had six between us, so they had seven. So this hand can't have more than two more clubs. And we're going, we're sure, pretty sure they've got the ace of spades. So we're going to lead the spade towards our queen. There's the ace. They can cash some clubs now. Ten of clubs. Well, we'll throw the Four of hearts away on that one. And then we win the ace of hearts. And cash the queen of spades. It's not so hard to set up. And we actually set up another spade winner. So did anybody try for game and not succeed? One no trump plus two. Keeps us in second place. It's 89.3% again. One. Oh, was a, was a person better that we did as well as everybody else? The robot. Um, well, spades were 3 3. Um, they should have carried on with hearts. Not the best defense from the robots, but we gave them the chance to go wrong. But we were counting to make sure each time that. We weren't setting up enough tricks for them to beat us. If we could see a route to seven tricks. Right. So we've dealt here in, in 16 points, five, four, two, two, five hearts. Um, so. Sorry about that. Um, so we've got a choice here. We can either open one heart or we can open one no trump. Um, five, four, two, two is becoming increasingly popular to be treated as a balanced hand. Um, despite the low doubleton in diamonds. Um, I'm going to try that here. The robot won't like it, but... Uh, And the club lead from the king from the king queen. So we've got the ace here to win this one. And then the queen here, we lead towards the jack. That should make a trick. So lots of people will be playing in hearts here. Or if they open, well, actually, if they open one heart, the opponents might come in in spades. So we'd like to take the heart finesse. So I think, and that's really our aim, is to take two clubs and some hearts and lose the tricks to this hand which if they play spades will give us a trick and hopefully they won't play diamonds because dummy's too good so we're going to win that we're just going to play the ace of hearts just in case there's a singleton in somewhere and there's the ten of hearts um Oh, let's play low. You never know. 
now we can read the if for a four to the queen here we can read the nine of hearts and it plays low let it run so we're now going to play the two of clubs towards the jack they're going to win the queen is this hand following no so we had four clubs dummy had three that's seven so they had six between them and this hand had one So the jack's going to be a winner. And now the moment of truth. Because if we lose to the Queen of Hearts in the West Hand, there's a whole stream of clubs coming that we're going to find very difficult, find it very difficult to make discards on. The seven. Why have they played the seven? And the tens appeared on our left. So the question is, was this ten a singleton or the top of a doubleton? Or was it from queen ten? We know this hand here had six clubs and this had one. We haven't, we haven't been able to explore the other suits to see what's happening. Um, right, so people, there's an interesting match point question here. People playing in hearts aren't going to be able to use the jack of clubs as, as an entry to dummy because it will get trumped by east. So if anybody's playing in hearts, they will play ace and king of hearts. And if they drop the queen, um, then will they be getting more tricks than us? Is that the, that's the question? Um, no, because they won't be. Yes, they will if there's queen 10 doubleton, because they can rough a club and dummy, and this hand won't be able to over rough. So they might. People, we're thinking about how we're going to fare against people playing in hearts. If hearts are four one with the queen here, then people playing in hearts will not do well. So what do we want to do to get a good score. King of Hearts, if that drops the Queen, are we equalising with them? If we don't drop the Queen, this hand gets in, and if, they, if this hand has an ace, they will get in, and a spade ace particularly would be very bad for us. This hand loses here, then they've got three rounds of clubs to play. Those will throw... Three rounds of clubs to play? No. Yes. So we had four clubs. Yeah. Yes. So I think that we, if we're going to lose a trick, we want to lose it to this hand. Right. Here come the clubs. And we're going to throw spades from dummy and diamonds from our hand. A high diamond there. So that's a bit worrying. I'm going to throw one diamond from here. And they play the spade. There's the ace. I can take the ace of diamonds. Nope. All right, so we're going to win the king of spades. We can afford to throw a heart. And we know our hearts are good. And the Ace of Diamonds was there. So, 85% for one no trump. So what happened at other tables? If you opened a heart, then the opponents could find their spade fit. 
Um, presumably that's what happened here. Opened a heart, two club over call, two diamonds, and they eventually got to their spade fit. And if you bid over their spade fit to three hearts, you went down most of the time. So opening one no over call, opening one no trump got us a good score that time. So that's kind of like ticking on that side of the box of opening five, four, two, two hands, one no trump. I'm trying to mentally keep track of it as I do it and to see how many pluses and minuses I get to decide whether it's a good technique or not, um, the right tactics. Um, we are in first place now, 69.4%, um, with one board to go, and it's passed around to us. We got 13 points, but we got five spades. So um, just to remind you, if, there are, if you're the last to speak, you should add the number your number of spades to your number of points, and only if that comes to 15 should you open the bidding, um, 15 or more because um, otherwise you're likely to get outbid in spades where the points are evenly distributed. But we've got five spades. We're going to open one spade. Partner's going to bid one no trump and we're going to pass. Because um, 11 plus high card points. But we know they haven't got more than 11 because they have opened the bidding. So we're going to stay in one no trump. And bonus of the clubs. So we've got five spade tricks almost certainly. We've got seven spades, so they've got six, and we've got the top four. So unless they're five, one or six nil, we're going to make five. Oops. We if they play hearts, we'll make a heart trick eventually. And we can make some tricks in diamonds. But let's see what happens in clubs. So going up with the jacks, only going to win if they've led from ace, king, queen, which they haven't. So it might, if the 10 is in the east's hand, you play the two, then to beat the nine, they'll have to play one of the ace, king, queen. And you never know. Oh. See how they're going. This hand had ace, king, queen of clubs. Who had the four? Who's got the last club? So this hand as the last club, one assumes, and they're going to get in with a heart. Here, um, I'm going to play the queen just to possibility. There's the last club. Now, I mustn't throw a spade away because these should all be winners. The ten of hearts is a communication here to help set up the heart. Probably wouldn't matter, but I'm going to throw the two of diamonds away and the three of diamonds from dummy. And this hand's probably going to lead a heart now. Yeah, I'm going to cash the ace. And uh, they've taken six tricks, but they're going to lead another heart. I'm going to throw the diamond away. I should have thrown the queen of diamonds away. That was silly. Just in case the spades break badly. I've won the jack of hearts, queen of spades. So remember, as long as they're no worse than 4-2, all the spades will be good. So they both followed. So these spades are all good. One more there. Seven of spades. And then the diamonds to the ace. Seven tricks, 82% for one no trump. So what the, why on earth would people not be making one no trump to get us to first place? Um, it probably doesn't let me see the other tables for this hand yet. But it seems to me obvious you've got to open one spade. And when partner says one no trump, they're a past hand anyway, um, even if we didn't know it was a best hand tournament. We shouldn't be bidding on. We should just be happy to play in one no trump. Um, we'll just... Give it a moment or two just to see if that can come around. Just to remind you, if you have liked the video, if you found it useful, please do like it. Please do subscribe to the channel and share the video with other bridge players. Um, all that helps guide the YouTube algorithm. Um, and, 
might say something about the YouTube algorithm and what it does and how it reads your Gmails to decide what videos to present to you. Um, there we go. So one no Trump 90, lots of people going down in one no Trump. That does seem difficult. Um, anyway, I hope you found that all useful and I hope to see you all again next week and plus a few of your friends, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.